My name is Jada Purantana Mary. I work at the art centre. I do a lot of translations. Uh, I work in with the artists. Do a lot of painting on canvas. Uh, we haven't got a museum or a keeping place. So my work is basically heading towards that, having materials prepared and finished, documented for a keeping place or a museum for Tiwi children to embrace and to respect Tiwi culture. I have a lot of passion for painting. There's a lot of stories that uh, have connections with um, paintings on canvas. Yeah, the painting that I'm doing is about the female crocodile building her nest and she leaves the salt water, she comes into the fresh water, she builds her nest and lays her eggs. Sometimes she'll have 120, but sometimes when she's not there looking after the nest, the Tiwi people come and steal her eggs because it's a, it's a delicacy. And with the um, education system today, our children go to school. There may be 12 in a classroom. Then that's a start. At the end of the year, there may be maybe eight children will graduate because the four had um, problems maybe. So there's a, a story towards the female crocodile and the nest that she builds. There's the story with our children in the education system today. There's been a lot of school dropouts. That's because um, the education system has failed us. There's another, another thing that I need to work on is when a painting gets sold, it's sold. Then you don't get to understand where it's gone. Whether it's gone to a good home or whether it's being sold to another person and another person. But then whether whether or not you still have um, copyright, that's a, that's a, that's another issue. Whether your painting's sold and maybe you don't have copyright. So we're trying to understand within the arts today, selling a lot of artifacts, whether, we still, whether they belong to us. Ooh. But I'd rather see our artifacts come back to us. You know, where we can say, yes, this is Tiwi. We can put it in our museum or our keeping place. Or we can store it digitally in our libraries, in the museum. And this is for our future generation, our children, to have an understanding, you know. This is what TV culture is about, keeping our culture alive our history of life, our language. This is who we are as TV people.